Let's take a second to talk about just how dumb you are. You bought a car with a turbocharged four-cylinder, you drive it like a maniac, and now you're so upset that it gets 12 miles per gallon. Shoulda got the V8. The three biggest lies in the world are number one, the check is in the mail. Number two, I'll pull out. That's how you got here. And number three, downsized turbocharged engines save fuel. Hmm. Let's ignore the turbocharger for a second. The science here is simple. All things being equal, a big engine makes more power than a small engine. And where efficiency is concerned, less power is a good thing. And that's because gasoline engines operate at their most efficient when they're flat out at low RPM. And this is what happens on the highway. You have a car with a small engine, it's in top gear, maybe 2,500 RPM, and whether you realize it or not, it's at like 75% throttle. If you asked a very big, powerful engine to make that same small amount of power you need to cruise, it will be less efficient and therefore will use more gas. That's the benefit of having a small engine. But you didn't buy the car with a small engine. You bought the car with a small engine and a turbocharger so you can drive like an asshole. And once the turbo spools up, well, all discussion of fuel economy goes out the window because in order to keep themselves from blowing up, Turbo gas engines need to burn extra fuel, negating the whole reason you bought a downsized turbocharged gas engine in the first place. And when you're talking about big outputs, well, let's say here's a naturally aspirated big engine that makes this much power, and you boost a small engine to that same power number. Making that power the big engine is actually going to be far more efficient. Here's a real world example. Porsche took the nearly perfect naturally aspirated flat six engine out of the Boxster and Cayman and replaced it with the world's worst sounding shit pile of a flat four turbo. They did this for fuel economy. <gasps> we will save the planet and the trees and the birdies. And it didn't work. On EPA tests, the four-cylinder used exactly as much gas as the six-cylinder did in base, S, and GTS form. And that's on EPA tests where the nerds drive around like sedated nuns. In the real world where you're using all of the boost, well, these turbo fours use an order of magnitude more gas than the old sixes did. And the result is Porsche has destroyed these cars in the name of fuel economy that didn't happen. Um, Hold on, maybe Porsche figured something out. No one buys the Cayman and Boxer anymore because they suck, and if you don't drive it, it doesn't pollute, and therefore it doesn't destroy the planet. Long story short, if you're gonna drive like a jerk, just be honest about it and buy the car with the naturally aspirated big boy engine. If you want to drive like you bought a Prius, well, buy a Prius. And in that case, you might as well just end it all right now because nobody likes you. For more obnoxious yet insightful videos on the proper care and feeding of cars, don't forget to subscribe to ECME's YouTube channel. And for the love of God, please share this video with somebody who's bitching about getting 12 miles per gallon out of his turbo. You should have bought the V8.